Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a partial chamfer on a blade in Fusion 360. Sometimes you have a hard edge that needs a chamfer, but you don't want that chamfer to run under your handles. You want it to stop right where your handle is. So I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Here we have our blade and we just wanna chamfer this hard edge and have it stop right at the handle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane along the path. I'm going to go up to construct and find plane along a path. And I'm gonna do it on the top edge first. I'm gonna click on this top edge and I'm just gonna drag it so that it starts just a little bit before the handle and press okay. Now what I'm gonna do is go up to modify and I'm gonna hit split body. The body to split I'm gonna select is my blade and the splitting tool I'm gonna to select is my new plane. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'll just turn construction off so I don't see the plane. And now I can go up to modify and hit chamfer and then select my edge. And you'll notice it stops right where the body was split because it is no longer a single chain. I'm gonna type 0.03 because that's the chamfer size I want. And then I'm just gonna hit enter. So now we have this chamfer that just stops right here at this hard edge. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to modify and hit combine. Now I'm gonna combine both sides of the blades that we cut. The operation I want is a join and I'm gonna hit okay. So now we have our chamfer that just stops abruptly right here. And we need that chamfer to kind of sweep out into a nice radius right into this handle. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click on this little square and then I'm gonna hit create sketch. The next thing I'm gonna do is go up to create, go to rectangle, three point rectangle. My first point is going to be right there. My second point will be right there. And I'm just going to drag it up and click again. Now I'm going to delete this constraint right here. This is really important. That way I can drag this up and down, which is going to adjust the size of our plunge, you could say. Now I'll hit finish sketch. And then I'm going to go up to create and hit revolve. The axis it's automatically selected, but I'm gonna click on profile and I'm gonna click right here as well as right here. We want that full square as our profile. Then I'll click on axis. I'm gonna choose the top edge and that's just spinning that profile around. We want it to be operation cut and hit okay. So now we have the starting plunge of our chamfer. And unfortunately we cut into our handle. So I'm just going to click on this face, hold control, click on this face and then hit delete. And that just deletes that cut we did on the handle. And since this is a little too far under, I can do a couple things. I can go to my sketch and turn my sketch on and then just drag this line down a little bit and that's gonna scoot it forward. And I'm gonna make it just stop right around there. That looks perfect. Now I wanna measure the length from this point here to this point here. So I'm gonna hit I to bring up the measurement tool and I'm just gonna click on that line. And the length is 0274. I'm gonna just click on that number to copy it. I'll hit close. And now I'm going to repeat the same steps down here. So I'm gonna go up to construct and click plane along path. This is gonna be the path I'm choosing. I'm gonna turn my construction on so I can see it and close out that first plane. And I'm just gonna leave it right there for now. I'll hit okay. Once again, we go modify, split body, body to split, splitting tool, okay. Turn the construction off. Modify chamfer. I click this edge and this edge and hit 0 0.03, then hit enter. And then I'm gonna go back to combine, combine both sides again, 
and hit OK. And then once again, right click, create sketch. Let me go up to create rectangle, three point, one point there, another point there. Then when I drag up, I can hit control V to paste that number so that the plunge on this one matches the plunge on the other one. I'll hit enter and finish sketch. I'm gonna go up to revolve, profile, one, two, axis, top one, and then hit okay. Now I just want to push this over a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go down in the timeline and edit the plane. And I'm just gonna start pushing it in and then hitting enter. And I can do that one more time. Oop, did it a little too far. There we go. So now I have the same plunge radius and we have a partial chamfer on the front here, as well as up top here. And now we need to get those on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is turn construction back on. I'm just going to create a mid plane, go up to mid plane, click on one side of the blade, the other side of the blade and hit OK. And then rather than selecting each face and mirroring that over, I'm just going to go up to modify split body. The body to split is going to be my blade. My splitting tool is going to be the plane. I'll hit OK. Then I'm going to hover my mouse over this side of the blade that I don't want. And I see the blue one light up in my bodies tab. So I'm going to go up to that one and hit remove. I'm going to turn my construction off and then I'm just going to go create mirror. Click on this blade for the objects. Mirror plane. Click right on that flat of the blade. I want to make sure it's join and hit OK. So now we just mirrored half the blade back onto itself and that transferred all of our features from one side to the other. So now we have a partial chamfer that makes it so that we're not going to have any hard edges on this blade. It won't hurt our fingers when we hold it and it just looks really clean and good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and if you want more training and a very thoughtful and slow, longer version of these kind of videos, I have an online course out right now where I walk you through the entire design process from the beginning, as well as the manufacturing process. So if you want to learn how to design knives from the ground up, as well as manufacture them on CNC equipment and find out kind of how to buy CNC equipment without just paying cash for it, I have an online course out right now that'll walk you through all that. And if you want to take the first half hour lesson of the course for free, just head to my website using the link below and scroll to the bottom and sign up for the email list for the course and you will get access to that first lesson completely free. Just click below for more details.